Welcome to Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, or more accurately, the name of the game within the game, Gun Gale Online. For those familiar with the anime, this game takes place right at the beginning of the Phantom Bullet arc. You play as a newbie to GGO, recruited by your friend Kureha. After taking on your first quest, you stumble upon an extremely rare, newly implemented AI in the game, an Arphasis Type X, aka an Artificial Financial Advisor System. This AI bonds to you immediately, becoming your new companion, leading you on quests as you and your friends try to find more information on this mysterious NPC. So toss out your nerve gear and strap on your amusphere, because we've got five tips to help you on this perilous journey. Link start. Tip number one, subquests. Now let's face it, anyone keen in the MMO genre knows that there are plenty of quests to do within the world. GGO is no different. Subquests come in an assortment of types, but are scattered around the SBC Glocken. You can accept traditional subquests from the terminal in the lobby, hunting quests from the receptionist in the squadron PVP room, unique enemy quests from the receptionist in the squadron PVE room, and finally, treasure quests from the receptionist in the squadron treasure room. Woo! Now check back often since new quests become available when a new location is unlocked. You can knock out three to five quests in a single dungeon, so be sure to grab all quests available to get the most out of every hunt and adventure. Quick note, you can also repeat quests if you want to keep gaining that delicious loot. Tip number two, the affinity system. SAO Fatal Bullet boasts a rather hilarious affinity system. By partying with characters you'd like to grow closer with, you could increase your affinity with them. As your affinity increases with a specific character, you'll begin to receive messages from them. They'll comment on random things and tell you how much they appreciate you being around. Aww. You may even find them hanging around the SBC Glocken, and by interacting with them here, you can unlock some unique skits. If your affinity is high enough, you might even have a chance to change the character's outfit by gifting them a new one. So if you're a fan of the anime, it's pretty cool to see how the series regulars interact with your character. Tip number three, medals. While you're killing off enemies in spectacular ways, you'll begin to accumulate medals for completing specific actions in battle. Doing so will increase your medal gauge on the top left of your screen. As your medal gauge increases, so do the stats of each member in your party. This gauge also increases through your team's actions. You can cheer on your teammates by pushing Y when they collect a medal, which will give a little boost to the medal gauge. Medals can be traded at the medal trader in the lobby of the SBC Glocken. This shop has items ranging from materials to skill points. So if you're eyeing something up, be sure to check out the cost of the item so you know what medals you'll need to go out and collect. Tip number four, hidden shops. There are many shops scattered around the SBC Glocken, but if you're relying solely on the main one for your gear, you won't get anything above a common rarity. There is a hidden shop located just across the bridge from the main store called the Predatory General Shop. Here, you'll find an assortment of weapons and accessories ranging from uncommon to epic rarity. But bring a full wallet, because you won't find any discounts here. There is another hidden shop, but this one is for materials. From the entrance spawn point, head up to the nearby staircase. Once you reach the top, keep an eye out for a shady man along the far wall. He'll sell you materials needed to create clothes and upgrade weapons. This is extremely helpful when you're short a couple materials, but you don't want to grind and farm for them. But shortcuts aren't cheap, so make sure you have the money to spend. Tip number five, weapon arts. Early on in your journey, you'll be introduced to Argo the Informant. If you speak with her, you can purchase weapon arts, which are powerful weapon techniques. Once unlocked, the weapon arts charge meter will appear over your weapon icon on the bottom right of your screen. During battle, after your metal gauge hits 50%, your weapon arts will begin to charge. Once full, Push both left and right bumper to unleash this powerful ability. Each weapon art has a different effect. The pistol technique will decrease reload times and skill cooldowns, while most other techniques unleash an attack for mass damage. So be sure to experiment with them. Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet is truly an experience for both fans of the anime and fans of the third person shooter genre. Being able to walk through the streets of the SBC Glocken and interact with series favorites makes for a truly enjoyable time. It's awesome getting to experience how Reki Kawahara originally envisioned Gun Gale Online to be. The game feels smooth and in tune with the shooter genre while keeping the feel of the SAO universe. So take a full dive into SAO Fatal Bullet, and let's hope the developer, Dimps, doesn't take any influence from Akihiko Kayaba's playbook.